Next thing I had to number three on the Knicks. Just a little, little oh, better. A little better. Great shirt. <laughs> I guess just first, Jalen, you guys uh, lose uh, Julius in the first half. You lost Kawhi and Jeff in game two. Just kind of what, what kept happening here with you guys, you guys stepping up. Yeah, um, it's just, damn. Um, um, next man mentality, next man up. And um, obviously we want those guys at 100%. want them feeling, you know, um, feeling back to normal. But um, most importantly, you know, we got the win. And um, we give them the opportunity to get healthy and get, and get back out there. No more questions. Uh, you, you said you wanted to play 48 minutes and play 47. Uh, you, you know, how are you feeling after a game like that? You played I feel amazing. I feel good. Got time off. Go hit the links. Mentally get away for a second. And then get right back to it, man. So I feel good. Josh, do you think Jalen's a star player? A star player? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh... I think so. Um, he's undersized, <laughs> um, overrated, overpaid. Um, but yeah, he, he's a star player. He showed that um, last year in the playoffs. Uh, he showed that this whole season, and um, you know he's continuing to show it, continuing to prove people wrong. And none of us in that locker room or in that front office or coaching staff is surprised with how he's playing. Um, yeah, man, you're an all-star. You touch me. You're an all-star, buddy. <laughs> what, what is it about his game that makes him? Uh, he is very composed. He is never rushed, never rattled, um, very poised. Um, he's able to get get his own shot and also get other guys involved. And he's able to just control the game, and that's what you want as a point guard. Um, and then, you know, you guys see in late game situations, they would take over the game, uh, knock down big free throws. He does all those, like, all those kind of things. So that's what you want in a point guard. That's what you want as a leader. That's what you want, um, you know, as one of the stars on the team. And he does it on a nightly basis. Um, I mean, Mitch did a great job. Uh, I mean, he um, contested shots, blocked shots, chain shots. Um, he dominated on the, on both sides, you know, the board, especially the offensive side, getting us second chance points, getting us extra possessions. Um, you know, like I said before, he, you know, this series he's showing that he's a top big in the league, and you know, you know, we know that he he's going to anchor that defense, and um, you know, we can't give him enough credit for how he played and. Looking forward to seeing him just continue. Joe, more, more for you, just because you've been here all year. You guys seem to all year back kind of a very even keel about you. You know, Julius goes down today, and you're fine in the second. The whole roster's fine in the second half. You had bad losses throughout the season. The next game, you come back, you're fine. Where, mm. where does that come from collectively as a group? Um, I think it, uh, it – don't do this again, bro. Just look I'm forward and just Just stop. eating. He asking Don't you a do question. This. Um, Mad at me for. It, it starts with uh, holding each other accountable um, from the coaching staff to the players. Um, it's, uh, I think we all trust each other, most importantly. And um, we get to the point where we have situations like that and um, things aren't going according to plan and uh, we find a way to... Um, you know, just find a way to tough it out and uh, keep moving forward and uh, try not to miss a beat. Big time, big time. Obi made key shots and uh, he just he really played well. And um, what he's able to do um, is this is what he does. And um, next man up mentality, like like I said before, and uh, he provided a great a great spark for us. Jalen, you obviously know kids as well as anybody, and I know he's <clears throat> satisfied. What do you think it means to him to be able to deliver the team to the second round for the first time in, in years? Yeah, um, I, I think it means a lot. Not something to uh, not be happy about in the short term, and um, not sure if he'll show that in the sh- in the short term. But um, 
uh, we get to play more basketball. And uh, whenever we get to do that, and uh, it gives us another opportunity to get better and uh, move forward and um, continue to see where we can go. Whether it's the heat or the box, what do you guys think about the next round? I'll answer that when we figure out who we're playing. Are you, are you watching the other player? Like, have you been watching that series in Tencent? Um, intensely, um, not really, but I, I mean, you, I just watch games. And, um, it's basketball's on every night. You gotta love it, and it's a very high intensity basketball and um, some good stuff to watch. Josh, you talked this morning about you and Mitch rebounding and having two debates among you guys. You combined for as many as the entire Cavs team today. Just kind of what you guys get on the board sit on the Um Yeah, he stole my rebound at the end. I gave it to him. It's okay. Um, but yeah, that's something that um, we both take pride in. Crashing glass, uh, you know. You see him several times a day. He'll, he'll say something, he'll, you know, in the game. He says something like, "Yo, you only got two rebounds," or something like that. So uh, we both take pride in it. We crash the glass extremely hard. Isaiah's is in there also, um, you know, giving us second chance points, and um, you know, those are the thing, the little things that help win games. And it's not the most glamorous. Um, it's not what everybody loves to see. But for us, um, you know, that's what we do. That's how we help. That's how we contribute. And, you know, we're going to continue to do that, continue to push each other. And, um, you know, keep it moving. Hey, Jalen, the, the Cavs talked about your guys' physicality. Did you sense that early in the series that, you know, being tough – could probably be a path to, to get past them. Um, first, it just you gotta give them a lot of credit, and um, it's a very uh, tough team to play. Uh, they don't quit; and, uh, they keep fighting, and um, they never made anything easy. And um, I just think that as a team, you know, we, we thrive ourselves on um, just trying to be, you know, physically and mentally tough. You know, because a lot of things during the course of a basketball game aren't going to go as planned. You know, you're going to have. You know, moments where things aren't going your way, where you're frustrated, but how can you stay mentally and physically strong to keep moving forward? And um, then no, no matter what's going on out there, we all look at each other, the five are out there, and we know that, you know, we got a job to do, we got to stick together and um, stay mentally tough through anything, you know, whether it's in a hostile environment or whether it's at home, you know, it doesn't matter where we are, we got to have that mental toughness. Jim, well, how, how do you, I know you've only been here for a year, but how do you see Mitch grow? Tim's called him the best offensive rebounder in the league. Have you seen him growing that? Yeah, definitely. Uh, he's been unbelievable at, at that. And um, I mean, throughout the series, and um, it probably got even better. And it's the way he was able to, to do that is um, a huge plus for our team. But um, Mitch, he's a he's this guy who he's, he's a goofy kid, first of all. But um, when he's out there, he's just relentless. And um, it's just it's a when he goes out there he's like so passionate going for rebounds and uh has passion trying to come over and uh, block shots and uh be the anchor on defense it's um what he's done this year has been nothing short of incredible i know both of you guys have had the pleasure of being in a couple locker rooms that are also special with a lot of chemistry when you take a look at that and then you take a look at this you know, what are some of the things that are special about this locker room and of course, that's not taking away from other ones that you've been in. I just know that you guys have both been in other successful locker rooms. I just think we're, we're, our team is, um, we have a lot of good chemistry. You now we all like each other, we all enjoy each other. And um, yeah, we have, a, we have a good group. And that's probably all I can say. Josh. Yeah, the, 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 the same, man. We, um, we genuinely love each other we want the best for each other um we joke around 24 7 um you know i've been in locker rooms with you know really good players you know and sometimes there's a disconnect and with us like there, there's no disconnect and it starts with the top and it's it's just fun to be to be a part of this team all right nice uh, yeah, come on. He's asking Jalen, anyways. Franchise whose dad played. What's it like to be, you know, obviously a driving force of the team? Yeah, um, I kind of actually thought about that today. Um, it's a it's a really cool experience, um, knowing that my dad played here and knowing um, 
that team. I mean, he didn't lead that team, but he was on that team that got to the finals. But, um, yeah, that's going to come back to haunt me. Uh, but, um, I mean, it, it's special. And uh, the the connection me and my dad have, uh, everything is uh, – all the full circle is it's really special. All right, thanks. Yeah. Wow. Wow.